Salutations, respective viewers. This is George from Ireland. I'm on Grosvenor Square in London. Behind me is the erstwhile Embassy of the United States, and it was located here from 1960 until uh, February this year. That's why there's that gigantic eagle. And it's um, under renovation. I don't know what purpose it's going to be turned to, but it's an enormous, brutalist uh, office block. Please continue. And you can see many flagpoles there. There's a, there was a flagpole for each of the uh, states of the Union and there was a special um, entrance building there. People had to clear security to go in. There's a garden behind. Certainly after 9-11, there were armed police here 24 hours outside. I suppose the US Marine Guards inside. The 90s, it was very different. One of my American friends here said back then, any American in London could turn up for their Independence Day party and on the 4th of July just go into the garden. But these days, you probably would have had to be cavity searched. Well, they moved to Nine Elms um, a few months ago. Nine Elms is south of the River Thames. So this is called Grosvenor Square because it's owned by the Grosvenor family. It's spelled Gros Venor, pronounced Grosvenor. They came to this country with William the Conqueror in 1066, came over from Normandy. And in Norman French, uh, Grosvenor means big hunter. So uh, the pronunciation was, was anglicized into Grosvenor, but they still um, spell it Gros Venor. Um, all right, so uh, Grosvenor Square, uh, well, it was laid out in 1704. The Grosvenor family, they were one of the major landowners in um, Middlesex. So London was the city of London, the area around St Paul's Cathedral, and the county, mostly to the north and uh, to the uh, west of that, was Middlesex. But uh, London grew out from the St Paul's area, out and out and out, and Westminster grew out from Westminster Abbey and absorbing many of the villages of Middlesex. Till about 1880, the county of Middlesex was effectively abolished. Um, so what had been countryside, what had been villages, uh, was mostly owned by the Grosvenor family and became the prime real estate in the United Kingdom. Um, and after the, second, uh, sorry, after the First World War, the Grosvenor family donated money to pay off some of the country's war debt. And the Prime Minister at the time, David Lloyd George, he recommended to King George V that he elevate the family. They already had a noble title, I think it was Earl of Belgrave, that's they got the Earl of Belgravia named in their honour, um, to Duke of Westminster. So that was the last dukedom created in the United Kingdom for someone who's not in the royal family. So the head of the Grosvenor family is the Duke of Westminster. He's in his 20s, because obviously it was when the father dies, the other son inherits. So there have only been about six Dukes of Westminster. Anyway, this area is quite badly bombed in the Second World War, which is why there was room to create something quite here, here to replace the 18th century buildings. And indeed, some of these are 20th century, not too bad, somewhat sympathetic. And this next one is definitely, uh, is one that survived the war. Some of them are not very vernacular architecture. So there's some um, five-star hotels here, the Indonesian Embassy, the Italian Embassy, a bit of the Canadian High Commission. There's the Commonwealth of Nations. That's uh, an organization for the United Kingdom and former colonies of the United Kingdom should they choose to be members of it. So Canada's in the Commonwealth and Commonwealth countries are not fully foreign to each other, that's the idea, which is why they don't have embassies in each other's capitals, they've got high commissions. There's a Canadian High Commission here in the United Kingdom, there's a British High Commission in Canada rather than an embassy. Um, Anyway, so uh, this, the garden here in Grosvenor Square was a private garden for the Grosvenor family until 1946, and that's when the Grosvenor family opened it to the public. There were railings on it, but uh, metal was in very short supply in the, in the first, sorry, Second World War, which is why the government um, got people to take down railings, melt them down, and then turn them into planes, tanks, ships, whatever was needed for the war effort. Behind me is the Millennium Hotel. This is where an Alexander, a chap called Alexander Litvinenko, a uh, Briton of Russian extraction, he uh, drank some tea which uh, proved to be not to his taste. Back in November, back in November um, 2006. All right, so here in the middle of Grosvenor Square Gardens, and you can see it's got some handsome and ancient oaks. You can relax within their shade. Uh, it's got a big chess set, and they, they even in the summer have ballet outdoors. But I'm not going into that little, uh, what would I call it, ballet area, that pavilion that's fenced off. The ballet's only in the evening over there. That's where ballet's on, not very often. And then a large size uh, chess set for outdoor chess. Okay, there we are.
Uh, there's also a memorial to, I think, is it 9-11? A memorial to the Bali bombing here on Grosvenor Square. Um, right, so is that about enough on Grosvenor Square? I shan't bother telling you about the statues to it. Uh, oh yes, well, something else about the history of Grosvenor Square. In the early 1960s, the United States sent troops to Vietnam. Well, well let me see, it would have been 1964, the, the Gulf of Tonkin res resolution, that, uh, that August. Um, the Americans were mindful of the domino theory. Anyway, so US troops started to arrive in serious numbers in 1965. So here in this country, many left-wingers in particular were opposed to American involvement in Vietnam. If the United States stood aloof, then South Vietnam would come under communist control, but some people thought that was a good thing here. And there's a huge demonstration here in Grosvenor Square, because it's in front of the US Embassy. So that's the, and then they, the police clashed with some of these leftists, many of whom were undergraduates. That was the Grosvenor Square riot. Is riot too strong a word? All right, behind me you can see the Italian High Commission and that memorial to 9-11, if I got that right. I'll switch it off now.